We make use of analysis views in Business Central to view financial data based on the criteria we feed it. In an analysis view, we group GL entries, GL budget entries, and cash flow forecast entries by criteria like GL accounts, periods, business units, and up to four dimensions. This means that entries that are posted to an account that utilizes one of the four dimensions that are being used in an analysis view will then be included in the analysis view as an analysis view entry. Let's go to the analysis views page and have a look. We have a few uh, already created here as part of this demo database. We'll open one up just to have a quick look. The analysis view card holds the conditions we specify for creating analysis view entries that can be used with the analysis by dimensions. Let's have a look at creating a new one. We'll create one for sales reporting. We can begin by populating the code field with our code that we wish to use to uni uniquely identify this analysis view, which will be sales, and elaborate in the name. This will be for sales reporting. Under account source, we can select either GL account or cash flow account. Cash flow account can be used if we're setting up an analysis view for cash flow forecasting. As we're not for this demonstration, we'll stick with GL account and we'll be making use of GL entries. Under our account filter, we'll specify the accounts we use to post our sales in line with what we intend for this analysis view to do. In this demo company, our sales accounts begin at 6100, so we'll make use of that and set our range to 6900, so it's rather 6999, just to cover everything. Under the dimensions tab, we can select from multiple dimension fields. We'll address a few of the other fields in the general tab in just a moment. The benefit of using an analysis view is that we can use dimensions that are not a global dimension as well as uh, some others. So for the first dimension, we can specify our department. For dimension code two, we can specify customer group. And if we really want, we can go further and add some more dimensions if we need to. We don't need to fill in all of these dimension codes. Back on the general tab, we can set some further conditions. We can include budgets and we can update the analysis view. We can update analysis views in two possible methods. Updating an analysis view is an important process where Business Central can take data from different tables and combine them into an analysis view entry table, uh, and this table is then used for reporting on later. So the first way that we can update an analysis view is to run a function to update the tables manually. Alternatively, we can enable update on posting, the function available in the ribbon up here, Enabling this will ask us if we would like to do so and that we'll need to run the update one time now. So we can hit yes on this and that's been enabled. You can see the update on posting field has now been ticked. Enabling update on posting means that every time Business Central posts a document, analysis view entries will be created automatically as part of the process. The benefit to this is that updating is automated and we can be certain that our data is up to date. However, this process is a little more taxing on system resources. So you may witness some performance issues with this enabled when you post documents. If this is something you wish to avoid, then we can use disable update on posting and instead run the update periodically. To do this, we can specify a date compression and a starting date that we run the update from. For now, we'll not bother with this as we have update on posting enabled. 